get another update in and uh, then I'll probably publish these videos and uh, have to wait uh, for a couple days for the next ones to come out. I wanted to kind of show you where we're at and what we're doing. Again, this is this uh, soil mix that we've come up with for this and it is just beautiful. Lava sand, expanded shale, perlite, compost. And uh, the ratios were given in the last video. But I want you to look as this is starting to prime. Uh, in other words, the water is beginning to wick up from the bottom. What this is really like. I mean, this is just, so this is just starting to moisten. And this is just beautiful. I mean, you know, you know you're gonna have good results growing in this. And uh, what you do, you start with good soil, you get it wet and you never let it dry out. And all of your bioactivity really blows up in here. You're gonna kind of have to wait till the next video to see that, uh, how I kickstart that. Uh, because the next video I'll be doing a uh, mulch and I'll be saturating the mulch and soaking the mulch in a solution of uh, liquid seaweed and some other stuff before we lay the mulch layer down. The other thing is you see the little black lines like right there and right there. Those are all one inch down from the top, just little sharpie marks. What am I going to do, and you don't need to see this, you'll see it when I come back and do the next video. The last inch, roughly, inch, inch and a half, is going to be nothing but pure compost. And the reason I'm going to do that is this stuff here. Anybody that's ever dealt with this stuff here in your flower pots or whatever, you know what happens. It rains, you get an overwater event, and all this stuff floats to the top, and it's annoying. And then it's not down inside the soil doing what you want it to do, which is lightening things and creating surface area for bacteria and stuff like that. So by laying down about an inch and a half of solid compost on the top, you know, we won't have anything going stagnant or anything like we would if the whole thing was that. Uh, and, but we'll keep all of this stuff down there. And then we'll do a one inch, and that's why that line's at one inch down. One inch of cypress mulch is what I'm going to use on these. There's a lot of different uh, hardwoods you could use, but I'm going to use cypress. The reason I stopped right now to show you this is, if you look down in there, I've got a uh, collar, one and a quarter inch straight connector on there. And that's, that's raising the level of the water about that much. It's just barely sat on there, so it's easy to pull off. And I have this one over here doing that for you right now. And I've got it up to the level where I've got the expanded shale. So there's about two inches of expanded shale down there. Then there's the weed blocker, just like the last video. And then there's the lava rock with the pipe uh, false bottom. And you can look in there, you can see I have that. I'm gonna reach in there and I'm gonna pull that out. And this is just, with priming, I can bring the water level up. If it's, if it's, if, if it's just really, really hot and dry and I want more water, I can bring the water level up. But you'll see here in a second, that water's gonna smoke out of there. We've got a really good return. I mean, we're returning on a two inch. But you can see already, that expanded shell layer is beginning to be above the water level. And that gives me the ability, just with this one little thing here, this is, these things cost like 70 cents, a one and a quarter straight fitting, I think you buy them individually, they're about 60, 70 cents. If you buy them by the bag, you're a little bit less. But let's just say it's a dollar. With this one dollar little thing here, I have that much control. Basically, I'm only putting it about like that far onto the pipe. So, from my thumb up to there, I can raise that water level that, that high. If I want to raise it higher, I can just take a small piece of one and a quarter and I can put it in there and I can prime it all the way, you know, three quarters of the way to the top. Let's say I'm starting seeds. I want to keep everything really wet for a couple weeks till the seeds are up and the roots are down. I can put another inch piece of scrap pipe in there. And now for a dollar plus a piece of scrap pipe, I can bring that level up. If I want to make it lower, I could take a bandsaw and I could cut let's say three quarters of an inch off of this and I could bring it up a little bit less. I could have two of them just sitting here, maybe hanging on something up underneath the, uh, the facade once we get the facades put in so this looks prettier. And, and that's this low end tech, how much flexibility that gives you. Now look, so now you go all the way down to the weed blocker and the weed blocker is not above the water level. It's a simple little thing but it makes life really good. So what we'll do next, hopefully by the next time my video, I'm gonna have these trenches filled in so I don't have to keep walking on my tiptoes here through here to make sure I don't break my neck. I'll have most of those trenches closed in. I'm gonna take the rest of this mix and we'll do it as the first load into that one. We'll go get some pure compost and uh, pop this guy. And I'll be back probably a few days before I'll be back with you again. And I want to show you, I'm going to take a Rubbermaid stock tank, not that one because it has a hole in it, but I guess I could 
I could use it temporarily. I could pop a bulkhead in there and throw a fitting in there and uh, put a pipe up higher than the level. That's about the size that would work perfectly. I'll probably use one of the 100 gallon ones still there in the back. And I'm going to fill that with water. Well, I'm not going to fill it with water. I'm going to put water. I'm actually going to dump the uh, mulch, which is sitting right over here, the cypress mulch. I like to use the bulk hardwood mulch, but cypress mulch is an awesome, awesome mulch because it doesn't float. So what happens is like you get a rain event, it doesn't float up and go out of your containers or out of your garden if you're using your garden. So I'm going to take, I'll take two bags of that for each one of these. That'll be enough to do about one inch on each one. And I'll put them in a 100 gallon Rubbermaid and I'm going to put some stuff in there. You'll see what it is when I do it. And I'm going to add enough water till it's, you know, covered with water. I'm going to wait until it sucks most of that water up. And then we're going to mulch pure wet mulch. It's going to have liquid seaweed and some other things infused in it. So it's going to become like a time capsule. And then that way I won't hear after me, it's going to take all the nitrogen. Stop, 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 stop that. First of all, we're planting in a mix that's made up mostly of compost. There's more nitrogen in there to plant could need for five years. But uh, when you see what we're doing, we get this all put together. There's going to be no worries of nitrogen, not to mention that's a nitrogen factory right there that everything's tied into. Anyway, we'll catch you later.